Hey, hi guys, welcome to PCF. Today video definitely will like video. To, today video you will definitely like. So, what is the topic? You know, like how to. So when we connect the import, if you want to change it to direct, can we change it? And if it is in a direct connection mode, can we change it to import connection mode? Okay, if the direct connection mode is there, so you want to connect to one more connection that is import. Can we do that? So all these questions, all these questions, I'm going to give all these three questions. I'm going to give an answer now. Okay, so let's take one uh, empty. Okay, let's take one empty PBI file. Now I'm going to connect with my, um, so import connection guys. Okay, first I'm going to connect with the import connection with the SQL server. So this time, so I'm connecting my local server, just so I'm giving the dot here. So see here, I'm connecting the import server connectivity mode. Okay, so just go here and then click OK. So here we will select the database uh, that is Adventure Works DW. Just, just connection purpose. Okay, so you can take anyone, just I'm going with the Adventure Works. Okay, you can take any, any database, not a problem. Okay, so here I'm searching with the dim date uh, table and uh, fact internet sales table. Okay, so fact internet sales. Fact internet sales. So let's click OK. Okay, let, let's click load. Okay, this is in import mode, guys. Okay, so after creating a visual, we'll see can we connect that into direct connection mode? Okay, so we are in import connection mode. So can we do uh, from import to direct connection mode? So that's the question. First question I'm going to answer. Can we you know, change it to import to direct connection mode? Okay, so let me you know, create some visual. Okay, so let's go with the full date key. Uh, select this uh, value. And uh, sales amount. Okay, let's select the sales amount and then go with this. Okay, so it's giving the very nice visual. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so but it's not showing something, you know, uh, report kind of thing. But here we are main focusing on the connection uh, changes. Like, uh, so import, we are in import connection mode. We have to change that to direct connection mode. Okay, for that, I am going to the transform tab. Okay, I'm going to the power query. And... Uh, just delete the existing uh, tables. Okay, let's delete the existing table. I'm deleting that. And then let's delete this one as well. Okay, delete it. Now close and apply. So now close and apply. That's okay. Here you will get something went wrong, message and all. That's okay. So now what we'll do, we'll go to the Power Query again. Power Query again. And then this time we'll here in Power Query, we'll go to the new connection SQL Server. This time we'll connect with the uh, direct query mode. Okay, see, I, I got selected uh, direct connectivity mode. Just I'm going with the Dart connection and then click OK. So that is my local server. So I connected with my local server and then the same uh, whatever the you know tables I have connected. So same table I'm going with the dim date table. Okay, dim date and back to internet sales. So I've connected that and then click OK and then click OK. So these two tables are uh, connected now and then close and apply, close and apply. See here you will not see the you know mod, uh, data tab, so data tab gone. And also here down, here down you can see the storage mode, direct to direct mode. Okay, storage mode, direct mode. So that means we have changed the connective connection mode from import to direct mode. Okay, and also this visual, right? So you may you not know, get confused. Like earlier, this visual is not like this. Now it is showing like this something. Okay, so sorry. You can go. Where is the date hierarchy? Okay, this is the date hierarchy. So we have to change it to date hierarchy actually. So date hierarchy. So okay, full date key you need to select. Okay. So that is in X axis. Now okay, hierarchy is not changing, I think so. 
that that will be fixed okay so maybe uh, so uh, don't uh, think about that so but that is an uh, hierarchy somehow it's missing okay so here we are not focusing the data just changing the connection okay and also we can change from import to see here so we are in direct uh, storage mode right so direct uh, storage mode now you can go to direct connection to import connection when you click here so there is a click here switch to tables import connection mode okay if you switch this it will go it will take you to the direct connection uh, direct connection to import okay just if you click it will take you to the direct connection mode okay that way we can go with the import to direct direct to import connection mode okay so see now we are in a see even that data we have so we are in a uh, import connection mode okay we have changed first point we have changed to import to direct then second we have done uh, import uh, direct to import now what we'll do we'll connect the uh, we'll you know again change the direct to import and then we also connect when we, we are in the direct connection when we are in the direct connection can we connect uh, some excel file and some sharepoint file others files okay that means dual mode okay we have to be in a dual mode okay one is import and another one is the direct okay can we do that okay let's go here and then uh, transform data let me remove this remove this Okay, so this time I'm going to connect with the SQL Server. Go to direct connection. So that, and then click OK. Adventure of DW. And then back to Internet Sales. Okay, this two I'm connecting. This is with the direct connectivity mode, guys. Okay, now we are in the direct connectivity mode. Now we are in the direct connectivity mode. Just close and apply. Okay, so now you can have you know, this data tab will gone. Okay, and then storage mode also we have a direct connectivity mode. So what we'll do? We'll connect one Excel file. One Excel file. Excel file always it will you know import connection mode only. So you can go like any, uh, you know, any data. So just I'm going with the PIB and they will say something. Okay, one new file I'm connecting. So just go with this uh, file and then click load. Okay, so click load. So this time it is asking, okay, so uh, when you want to add a second data, so the information from one data might be include the queries in another data source. So only uh, add another data source you trust. Okay, admin with the data. So it's asking some, you know, security risk questions. That's okay. I want to see, you know, dual modes. Okay, so now data is loaded. So here the storage mode is mixed now. See, storage mode. Earlier it was uh, direct, uh, direct query mode. Now it is mixed mode. Okay, if you want to see still, let's go to the modeling part so when you select this so here is the advanced uh, come down okay there is a properties in property uh, window you can come down and then see there is advanced um, in advanced there is a direct okay when you select this uh, two tables are coming from the you know direct connection mode right so these two tables are coming from the direct connection mode but whatever we connected the Excel, that is the input connection mode. If you want to see, this is the Excel connection. Okay, so if you want to see that one, so just go here and then see, this is the input connection mode. Okay, this is called a composite model or mixed, mixed model, or you can say anything, okay? So <laughs> not anything, okay, Impo uh, mixed mode or composite model. So this is called composite model. So um, some of the, you know, when we will go with the composite model, you know, so when we have a uh, you know, huge amount of data in a fact table and then dimension tables, okay, dimension table will be in an import mode and then fact table will be in a uh, direct connectivity mode so that the, our performance will be increased. Okay, that time we'll go for the composite model. Okay, yeah, so hope you got this guys. Okay, so hope you like the video. Uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, my channel if you, you know, watch the first time guys, okay. 
so i will create more this kind of videos okay for uh, future purpose okay you will get this kind of videos so hope you like the video please uh, share and subscribe my channel thank you